mostly the people of Africa and the Sardinian continent is in Latin American community. Right. Because we are there almost 160, 70 Absolutely. million of people. Only 30 million, only not, because it's a lot of people in the in, in, in US and in Canada. But most of the people of, um, of people of African descent, we are living in that part. And, uh, and, and because of the history, we don't have a lot of forms to link us with, with the continent. We don't have a lot of academia looking and, look and, and research a lot what we are doing now and what are our history. But I feel that this is an opportunity to reunite us, not only with the continent, but also as a people in out of Africa, as a, as a real diaspora. So today I am at Kempinski Hotel and the Vice President of Costa Rica is here today and she is here all about celebrating people of African descent, the decade of African descent. And so this is a quick event where she is speaking as well as the Vice President of Ghana speaking. I am deeply grateful to my sister, Dr. Natalia Kanemi, for arranging and making this visit possible, the return mission, and as well, Harold Robinson and all the staff of the United Nations Population Fund who have enthusiastically taken on, on the task of strengthening relations between Africa and us, the people of African descent. I also thank the President, Nana Akufu Adam, and you, Vice President, and this government for this extraordinary opportunity to be here. I would like to begin this dissertation by the teacher myself as a leader from the office that I represent on this occasion, that of Vice President of my country to share with you something of my own life, the life of Epsi Campbell Barr, a woman of African descent from the Americas who comes with you in this nation to build bridges. Like you, I'm a descendant and daughter of Africa, specifically from Nigeria, Mali, Benin, Togo, Ivory Coast, and Ghana. And, and I also have in my blood the imprint of Cameroon, Congo, and Bantu people of the West. This is, this is what my family DNA analysis provides. And I, that's why I say it with authority that I'm proud that I'm here, that I'm a daughter of Africa. Today, their communities, their tribes, their histories, that we are able to return. We are here. We are behind the doors of, and we are behind the doors of no return. And today, we are building the bridge and the doors of reunification with history, with the present, with our future. I would also like to say to those people that we are doing the task that we could respond to us today, as our ancestor did, who never gave up, give up that it is why we are standing here with heads held 
high and warm together without further delay. Thank you very much for receiving me, for receive us. You take me, really made me feel at home. I feel at home because I'm at home. I recognize in my origins, my feelings, how my black skin bright and my heart beats before the energy of my ancestors. Today, I come before you to build together the other history, the one we dream of, the one of dignities and rights, the, the one of equality, that dream of which we are still fighting as the director of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adramon say, the world does not pay the same attention to the black life as is to the white life. Referring to the worst indifference in the tragedy of Tigray in Ethiopia, which has left thousands of dead, millions of hungry, while there is a global humanitarian action in the face of the war in Ukraine. In war and in peace, black life continue to be worthless. Despite of that, we are achieved in present time. As the High Commissioner for Human Rights reveals herself, Michelle Bachelet has found in the report of racial justice and equality Young black men continue to die at the hands of police brutality. In race system and a society that refused to give us our place, George Floyd, Tyron Marion, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Walter Scott are some of the names of young African American youth killed by the U.S. police. Similarly, in Brazil, more than 500,000 violent deaths were recorded in 2020, of which 76% were black people. This reality is what completes me to affirm that I am a descendant of African women and men, full of courage and bravery, who after being despaired and seized an ocean were able to make community, to resist to hundreds of years and fight thirsty for right to be life in dignity without having to give up our own identity. In the Americas and in the Caribbean, we live more than 200 million of people of African descent who today continue to pay with their life for colonization and racism, making them victims of racism, discrimination, social, economic, and cultural exclusion. The reality of African people of, and, and the people of African descent in the world continue to be challenging that we must do to work united, work together, denouncing, proposing, making and seeking the necessary allowance that Tedros had announced the world returned to reason and treats every human being, every human life in the same way. If, if we commit ourselves to work men and women together on what unites us, if we use our leadership and energy collective if you decide to be the generation that you can change the world, change the present, the future, we will be much more promising. Today, we are here because we assume the task of building, learning from the past and taking charge of the present, supporting the new generation, the generation, the shining generation, that, they, that raise these voices with great strength, with rebellion and fighting spirit, which alone is capable of our awakened pride to ensure the dignity of Africa and its des descendants. Today, more than ever, we must put children at the center of our action, 
we must use global agendas such as LDG to strengthen bridges and open doors between us and with all those we, who are necessary to bring once for all, for one for all, the acceptable reality of exclusion that germs of millions of people live in. The pandemic has exposed the reality of exclusion, not only of millions of people, but also of regions and countries. Access to vaccine is just one indicator. And also the reality of millions of women lost their jobs and multiply their care responsibilities. Children were, were expelled from the school for their school education simply because they don't they didn't have internet connectivity or electronic devices. This is this forum. The return mission is a mechanism to establish a strength the strategy alliance between Africa and their diaspora to exchange ideas, proposals, to maximize space, such as permanent forum for people of African descent created by the UN, and which I am the honor to be part. Maximize alliances with international organizations, such as the United Nations Population Fund, which has served a really key to the people of African descent. Let us work together in, in the global coalition against racism because Black Lives Matter, Her Excellency Vice President and Director of the Population Fund of the UN. We must sign the global commitment against racism because Black Lives feel and have to matter for all the people. Let us work as unique personalities, artists, politician leaders, business, social leaders to make a solid form for Africa and its descendants. We share my common structure, uh, economic and social challenge. I know that what they are here and in the rest of the world Black people continue to be victims of systemic, historical discrimination and, and exclusion. The world has not been able to set up outstanding debts in reparation with Africans. It is time to fulfill the promise of recognition, justice, and development as a standing the model of the United, the United Nations International Decade for People of African descent. We must unite and join forces as a single continent, as a children of the same land. It's essential to advance in action and public policy, to strengthen the relationship and, and ties between Africa and the diaspora around the world. is based on three pillars, recognition, justice, and development. Ghana remains committed to the practice and advocacy of these three pillars, which are also reflected in the African Union, whose charter emphasizes the right to equality and non-discrimination and joining states to move all obstacles that prevent equal enjoyment of all human rights. After the conference at Kempinski, the Vice President of Costa Rica and Executive Director of UNFPA were welcomed at the Diaspora Africa Forum. After Ambassador Erica Bennett and her team met with the delegation, they moved over to the supporters wall and presented a plaque honoring both the Costa Rican Vice President and the Executive Director of the UNFPA. I want to again welcome you to the Diaspora Africa Forum. We're honored. This is called our Sankofa Wall. Sankofa, no, this is called our uh, Supporters Wall. These are people and organizations who have supported us. And we're so honored to have your name there and your name there. And um, so we're just very, very, very delighted. So what we're going to do is unveil this first, okay? 
After the presentation of the plaques on the wall, we moved inside the Diaspora Africa Forum so they can both see that this is the only embassy for the diaspora community with the headquarters here in Ghana. They were presented with a kente sash before we headed over to the W.E.B. Du Bois Center. We entered the gravesite for W.E.B. Du Bois and his wife. He is one of the great leaders of the Pan-Africanist movement who moved to Ghana later in life, and he is laid to rest in Ghana. They laid wreaths in his honor before departing. Thank you very much for, uh, for us uh, and for me as a member of the permanent forum of Cuban African descent, not only as a vice president, it's an honor to, to be here and to, and to link with you as a part of the diaspora, that as, as, we, as we are all over the world. Thank you very much. We have to, to build in riches and we have to work together for our people, for our young people, especially for our young women. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's an honor for UNFPA, representing the United Nations, to be here with you on this auspicious occasion. Thank you for the opportunity to remember W.E.B. Du Bois, one of the foremost researchers linking the continent of Africa to its diaspora in every corner of the globe, and also someone who was persuasive through bringing the weight of evidence to bear on his theories as to how Africa may unite and how the continent, indeed the richest continent on earth, may be uplifted. I would like to share that as a young student at Harvard University, Madame Shirley Du Bois took it upon herself to meet with anti-apartheid activists. And there, she counseled us to be aware of our African heritage, to learn African languages, and also to assure that in our carriage and in our uh, endeavors, wherever life is going to take us, to remember that Africa is our homeland. Thank you very much. Thank you. I wanted to get an exclusive interview with the Vice President of Costa Rica, but unfortunately her time was extremely limited and she only did one interview on the grounds and that was with Diaspora Network Television. So I quickly grabbed a quick shot of her when she was speaking to Jermaine Nkrumah from Diaspora Network Television. A lot of people of African descent that about two or three times yes, more than Yes, most, mostly the people of African descent in a continent is in Latin American community. Right. Because we are there, almost 160, 70 Absolutely. million of people. Only 30 million, only not, because it's a lot of people in the in, in, in US and in Canada. But most of the people of, um, of people of African descent, we are living in that part. And, uh, and, and because of the history, we don't have a lot of forms to link us with, with the continent. We don't have a lot of academia looking, looking and research a lot what we are doing now and what are our history. But I feel that this is an opportunity to reunite us, not only with the continent, but also as a people in out of Africa, as a, as a real diaspora. And um, I'm so grateful with this country, with Ghana, and also with, um, with the UN as a special key right. to reunite us, to have this forum, 
the, the, the reunification forum. And thank you a lot, Ambassador, for receiving us.